So we're going to use uh, A-Frame and this wonderful AR.js. Best place to go for the, to just to get going with this is this aframe.io blog at the top here. So what we're going to do is really we're just going to follow what's in here largely. So this is a really nice little little framework to work to build some simple GIS. So all I'm going to do to start with is just copy this. This has everything that we need to go. I'm going to use Glitch. Now Glitch is great in that it's free. You can add files to it. You can take files off it. So I'm going to just do a new project. And I'm not going to worry about the rest of these for the moment. I'm just going to cut and paste what were copied from that file. So the two key things that we need to think about are these two here. What's really nice about this little package and using A-Frame is, is that we don't have to install a lot of stuff to get going. Everything is based on the web page. So the first one is we add a script file for doing the A-Frame. An A-Frame is a way of doing web-based virtual reality. And then to use Jerome Etienne's A-Frame uh, Augmented Reality.js. Again, don't have to install anything, just use the source from here. So how this works is we embed this we're going to tell it they're going to use augmented reality. This is going to put a box on the screen when a marker is found. So to get going with this, And we're using the hero marker. So there's a white box that appears on top of this marker, this hero marker. It's just reading off the box doesn't go away very easily, but yeah, so we need to give permission to do the camera and we're done. That's all there really is to do this.